Hey guys, okay, so today I'm recording this video, I'm pre-recording it for uploading Saturday, I think, and I'm going to be talking about Sarah Jane Adventures. Now, because a lot of my subscribers are Doctor Who fans, I love you guys, um, I get a lot of people asking me, you know, do I watch Torchwood and do I watch Sarah Jane Adventures? Obviously, two sister shows to Doctor Who. And whenever people ask me if I watch Sarah Jane Adventures, I'm like, eh, I don't know, do I watch it? If it's on, I'll watch it, but... I don't go out of my way to watch it, so I can't really call myself a fan of the show, but I do like it. In fact, I really like it, so I'm kind of surprised that I don't go out of my way to watch it. Just briefly, in case you don't know what it is about, um, Sarah Jane Smith was a, compan a, com a companion of the Doctors years ago. Um, my apologies, I can't remember which Doctor it was, and I know the original Doctor Who fans will start screaming at me for that. I am a, a new Who fan, if you will, a, doc a new Doctor Who fan. Um, so I don't really know anything about the Doctors 8 and down. Um, but she was a companion with them, and then she came into Series 2, David Tennant's Doctor, the ninth, the 10th Doctor even, um, and that was when I was introduced to Sarah Jane as a companion and her backstory and things. And then she got her own show, and she's played by Elizabeth Sladen, so essentially it's Elizabeth Sladen's own show. And it's air, I think it's on BBC One and Two sometimes, but mostly it's on the CBBC channel itself. Um, so look out for that and it's just taken us through, as the title suggests, Sarah Jane's Adventures it's like a kids version of Doctor Who because it, it sort of goes, Torchwood is for adults, Doctor Who is for the whole family and Sarah Jane Adventures is basically aimed at kids only um, although I'm 18 and I watch it and I love it so it's not as if you can't watch it if you're older and it's kind of like the same sort of thing as Doctor Who but without the, without the time travel, without the Doctor and on a lesser scale. For example, sometimes it'll be about paranormal but with alien side, side effects to it. Um, the, the latest one I've watched, because I've watched a couple of episodes over the past um, few days, um, the latest one I watched, they were in a, a haunted house or a house that was supposed to be haunted and it turns out it wasn't ghosts but it was aliens. So that's really nice as well. Sometimes the Doctor Who creatures are brought in. There's one episode I love, and I think this was the first episode of Sarah Jane Adventures I ever saw, where the Slitheen are brought into it, but you have the little baby Slitheens as well, and you have these cute little podgy baby Slitheens, and they're the most adorable alien creatures I have ever seen, or kind of seen. So I absolutely love that. I think the Jadoon have been in an episode. I haven't seen that episode all the way through. Um, K9 is obviously in it. Both David and, Ma and Matt's Doctor have been in it. So there are a lot of things brought in from Doctor Who about it. And it's also the same the other way on, because obviously if you're a Doctor Who fan, you'll know Sarah Jane was in the season 4 finale, as was um, Sarah Jane's adopted son Luke. So the plot itself is basically like a watered-down version of Doctor Who. Um, it's a bit shorter as well, it's, I think it's just under half an hour. There have been a couple of specials which I think are 45 minutes long, and um, correct me if I'm wrong, I might be. But generally they're about a half hour episode long, which is a great length. And the plots are all lovely. Um, they're, they're, it's kind of like Doctor Who but with less, less sci-fi jargon. So it makes it easier for slightly younger children to understand. It's less scary because obviously there's the whole debate that Doctor Who is becoming too scary for kids. Um, but that, I've done a different video on that, that's a whole other argument. Um, but it's really great, and the cast is, is wonderful as well. Most of the cast, cast, cast is young, you know, they're teenagers, young kids. Then you have Elizabeth Sladen as Sarah Jane, who I absolutely adore, and she makes the show what it is. Um, it was created by Russell T Davies, which sort of gives you, even just putting that name to a show, just instantly makes you think it's going to be brilliant. And it is. The, the title music sounds a little bit like the Doctor Who music, but with them... Um, um, stuff just thrown on the top of it. You can kind of hear the Doctor Who music running in the background if you really want to hear it. And it's purpley as well, so it's really nice. Um, I think part of the reason why I haven't let myself fall in love with this is there's a lot of merchandise. Um, you guys know if you've been subscribed to me for a while that I go on sort of Doctor Who addiction spending sprees where I'll, I'll buy everything. And I think in the space of a month I bought loads of books and DVDs and figures and things when I swore I wouldn't. Um, now, Sarah Jane Adventures does have DVDs, there is books, there's figures, there's pencil cases and stationery things, so there is a lot of merchandising to go with this, um, which I think is part of the reason why I haven't allowed myself to become addicted to it. Um, but it is a brilliant, brilliant show. If you're a fan of Doctor Who, 
check it out. You will like it, I promise you. Um, perhaps if you're an older Doctor Who fan who's been a Doctor Who fan since the very beginning um, or near enough, you might not like it because maybe it takes things too far away from the original essence of the Doctor. But when you're a new Doctor Who fan and you can relate to the things purely that have been brought across and interweaved, it's really nice. Um, it is great for the kids as well. Um, so check it out. It will be on CBBC at some point. Check out Radio, Ta Radio, bleh, Radio Times. Check out the listings and things on the website. Um, yeah, but feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe you like Doctor Who, but you just don't like Sarah Jane Adventures. Or maybe you like Sarah Jane Adventures, but you can't stomach Doctor Who. Because um, essentially they are two separate shows at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.